If you like skulls or gothic artwork, then this is the video for you. I created this design in under one minute. Here's a completely different skull design. Again, it took me under one minute to create this. If you like skulls, this will blow you away. I'm on heritagetype.com, which is one of the best sites for premier vectors, illustrations, and graphic design. So I'm going to scroll on down here and you can see there's some bundles, there's some different tools. Now what I'm going to be covering here is this bare bone skull creator, 130 elements. I'm going to jump in and show you exactly how this looks. This thing is amazing. When you download it, it's essentially a zip file. And so you just get this big zip file. I'm just going to double click it. That opens it up. You're just going to copy that into some sort of a folder. I just have heritage type as my folder. So I'm just going to paste that over. It's got a lot of items in there. It depends on the speed of your computer, of course. Now that I've got the bare bones skull creator in a regular folder, I can click on it and we can see here there's fonts. I want to install those three fonts first. And then I've got the actual skull creator here for Illustrator, Photoshop, Affinity Designer, and there's some PNG files as well, which is really nice. Here I'm using a super old version of Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS2. And as you can see here, it opens up no problem. And it's got really nice layers in here that will go in, in a lot more detail. If you're using Affinity Photo, this is what it would look like as well. Here I've got Affinity Photo open. Here's just the baseline. And then we've got a whole bunch of layers on the right hand side. Works just fine. Looks amazing. And here I'm using Adobe Photoshop Elements, which is a relatively high end version of Photoshop. It's pretty new. And here you can see as well, there's different layers along the right hand side. So really regardless of what platform you're using, Adobe, Affinity, even an old version of Photoshop, it should work no problem. I've tested it out in all these different platforms and it works awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my old version of Photoshop here, but it's the same thing regardless of what platform you're using. Really what it comes down to is this layers panel and you know you can make it larger or smaller. And then really it's just a matter of turning off the different layers and turning on the different layers to see what's all available. So you can even turn off the background. I'm gonna leave the background on just so it's easy to see. And we'll just start with something very basic. Now these layers actually are folders and you can expand out the folder. So I'm gonna go here to skulls and I'm going to click this little arrow and that's going to expand all of these different skulls. So I'm gonna start off with say standard skull. So I'll turn that on. So now the standard skull is on. I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit as well. I'll zoom in a tiny bit there, just so you can kind of see what's going on. So there's the regular skull. Okay, you can turn it off, turn it on. You could also do a shark skull. So you could turn that on instead. So see the difference? There's a standard skull and a shark skull. It's got different teeth and it sits on top of it. So there's the shark skull. There's also the ice skull. The whole skull, see how it's got a hole in the head? There's a whole bunch of different you know, skulls. Scar, demon, cracked, toothless. So you can start off with whatever skull you want. I'm gonna start off with say the shark skull, okay? And then from there, I'm just gonna scroll on down here to jaws and I'm gonna pick a jaw. So there's standard jaw, there's toothless, See how they all line up exactly over top of each other? This is pretty cool, right? I mean, you're just basically plugging and playing different. It's like Mr. Potato Head, right? You've just got different little plug and plays here. So I'm gonna do cracked jaw. I'm just gonna have that one open and that'll be my jaw. So now I've got jaws taken care of and you can expand and contract that as needed. So I'm gonna just collapse that. So I've got that one on. I've got my skulls done. So you can see now there's two little eyeballs and now you can go through and look at all the other ones. So I'm gonna to go to lightning bolts, for example. So I could turn on lightning bolts if I want. I could turn that off. I have banners and text. I've got it zoomed in a bit, but you get the idea. There's birds and wings. There's different birds and wings. So that's everything all turned on or you can do individually as well. So you can turn it off 
and you can mod, you can turn it all off here one at a time and then I can turn it on so we've got bird wing right bird wing left small left and right bat wings eagle wings and again it's all perfectly aligned right so if you've got this all set up and you go you know what I'd maybe I'd like to change the skull well you can just go back into where the skull is located so here's my uh, birds and wings I'm going to collapse that here's my skulls so I'll open that layer up and maybe instead of shark skull I want to have ice skull boom instant it's perfect it, it fits in exact maybe you want to do whole skull scar skull so you get the idea right if you create a great looking design maybe for a t-shirt you now have instant variants where you can say okay I want to have cracked skull toothless skull and all I'm doing is just turning on and off the layers I'm not even modifying anything yeah, of course you could get more variants if you change the color and you add things to it but I'm literally just upping and downing the layers here I'm just turning on and off the visibility here's one called horns so we can turn these off so we've got Aries horns look at that perfect seamless into the into the skull that one's called yoke there's deer here's hats and again we can turn them all on we can turn them all off so you just kind of go through and you can see them all they all become active so here's cowboy hat I'm going to turn off the horns and I'm going to turn off the birds and wings just so we can see it so here's hats cowboy hat pirate hat that's a great one if you're doing like a logo or some sort of a funny drinking poster top hat in case the zombies going out for a night on the town fez cap flat cap and again you can go back and change the skull or the jaw at any time maybe you want to have a, a shark jaw here instead so instead of a crack jaw now you've got a shark jaw I'm just plugging and playing these here's hair all the different hairs that are available that looks like me halfway through quarantine here holy moly so here's I'll just remove the hats and we'll throw on there's Bob long straight hair long wavy pony side parting I mean there's tons right so I mean there's just hundreds and hundreds of variations and when you start mixing and matching them you can easily get thousands of different variants and the quality on this thing is high I'm only 33 percent right so if I were to zoom in and go actual size actual pixels I mean it's a really nice high quality vector looking you know clean picture and then from here I can save it as you know a Photoshop image I can save it as a PNG or a JPEG that kind of thing down here at the bottom if I wanted to I could just add in a new background just by simply adding in a layer maybe I want to have a red background for example so I'll just so there I've just painted the background red I'll just zoom it out a tiny bit so again it's very clean I just wanted to show you a different background color to just show you how clean the lines are it's a really nice high quality tool here and it makes it look super professional even though realistically I'm not really doing a whole lot here I'm just modifying layers now there's also weapons I didn't even get into the weapons there's a million billion different weapons here there's baseball bat I'll scroll this out just so we can see here fit on screen and I'll just zoom it in a tiny bit here so there's baseball bat you can do left and right great little logo there for the sports team gun left and right two guns with the hands knife I love these chefs ones I like the idea of making like kitchen themed stuff right there's cleavers as well maybe you want one cleaver and one knife if you add that in or you can do the opposite there's a scythe that's pretty awesome and of course the old standard swords and of course the ultimate weapon because I'm from Canada the hockey stick I mean that's a perfect you know you could make a goth looking hockey t-shirt sweater hoodie coffee mug fire axes 
you can see all the niche possibilities, right? Because if somebody likes skulls, you can basically create a logo. You know, you don't just have to use this for print on demand. You could use this for your website development. You can use this for all sorts of applications where you need a high quality looking program. There's one here called a cult. Oh my goodness, this is getting dark. Let's check this out too. So if you wanted to do like rock and roll designs or metal designs, here's halo, a candle, snake, tentacles, oh my goodness, tongue, and of course the pentagram. So I mean, you can just add stuff left and right, sword, sword. You know, how quickly can you make different stuff here? Here's all the different eyes you can do. Maybe you want to have an eye patch on there. So now I've got that eye patch over the left eye. There's so many different tools here. Cards, dice, tobacco. He's going to smoke a pipe. I mean, right there, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller here so you can see it, zoom it out a tiny bit. There we go. I've done nothing except turn on and off the layers and I've created my own unique design. I could put text underneath it if I wanted. I could put a metallic background or a metal background. I could do anything with this thing now. It's just a matter of putting a background and saving it. You can also just save it as a PNG file. So I could just go right down to the bottom of the layers turn off the backgrounds and now I've got a high quality PNG and I can upload that to Merch by Amazon. The, the possibilities are endless. There are so many variants here in this package that you could literally create thousands and thousands of different variants all with skulls that are super high quality and are very appealing. This is a very appealing niche for fans of goth, metal, you know, pirates, anything and everything. Okay, so I'm going to put the link down in the video description below. The guys at Heritage Type are super high end, and I really like the style of their illustrations and also just the quality of them as well. So, what you do is just go, you know, click the link in the video description below, scroll on down to the Skull Creator, and we've actually got a coupon here that I can do. The coupon code is Zen20, and that will actually give you 20% off the skull creator. So when you click on it to purchase it, you just click on the link here. And then when you click add to cart, you can add a coupon code and that coupon code is Zen 20 and that will give you 20% off. I do want to point out that the link in the video description below is an affiliate link. And what that means is if you click on it and you do wind up buying this, I would receive a small commission. Have a look through it. There's so many different options and they've got amazing mock-ups as well right on the website. So you can see different examples and you can really get your creative juices flowing. Look at all these different t-shirts that you could do. And again, all I did was just change the layer visibility. That was it. So even if you don't know anything more than that, you can still create some amazing designs. And of course, if you do know a bit more about Photoshop or Affinity, you can of course modify the way it looks as well with colors and textures and that kind of thing. And you can really take it to the next level. I hope you guys found this walkthrough helpful. I absolutely love being an ambassador for Heritage Type. I think they're one of the highest quality graphics companies in the print on demand market and I totally recommend them. Uh, check them out. Thanks a lot guys for watching. I hope you found that helpful and good luck with your designs.